Well, good morning. I'm delighted to be here with the attorney to announce the appointment of the next Chief Justice of the High Court of Australia. And we are delighted to announce that the Governor-General has accepted the advice of the government to appoint her honour, Justice Susan Mary Kiefel, as the next Chief Justice, the 13th Chief Justice of Australia and the first woman to hold that role. Justice Kiefel is the uh, senior judge of the High Court after the Chief Justice, Justice Robert French, uh, who is retiring, as you know, and, and we thank him for his many years of judicial service. Uh, Susan Kiefel's story is one that is an inspiration. She left school at 15. She began her working life as a legal secretary. She studied for her uh, completion of her high school qualifications part-time. She studied law part-time through the Barristers Admission Board. And she was admitted to the bar in 1975. She then went on, after practising at the bar, to, uh, to win a uh, Master of Laws at the University of Cambridge. She was uh, the, she took silk in 1987, uh, the first woman in Queensland to do so. And in 1993, she became the first woman to be appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of Queensland. She has been one of Australia's most outstanding judicial officers, and her appointment crowns a great career with uh, even greater judicial service yet to come in this most uh, important role. So we congratulate uh, Justice Kiefel on this uh, appointment. We thank her for agreeing to undertake it. Now, this, of course, creates a vacancy uh, in the court, because we have replaced, we've uh, agreed to, uh, the Governor General has agreed to appoint one of the existing judges as Chief Justice. And I can advise, we can announce today, again, we're very pleased to announce that the new judge of the High Court uh, will be Justice James Edelman. He is the one of the most outstanding legal minds of his generation. He was born on the 9th of January 1974, so he is a different generation to most of the, uh, of the other judges of the High Court. But he was a professor of law at Oxford at the age of 34, 34 quite precocious. Uh, he's a, uh, he became a judge in Western Australia uh, in 2011, uh, where he sat on the Supreme Court of Western Australia, and since 2015, he's been a judge of the Federal Court of Australia. He has uh, distinguished himself uh, in practice at the West Australian Bar and indeed at the London Bar. And uh, as I noted, was from 2008 a professor of the Law of Obligations at the University of Oxford. He has a very distinguished uh, career and reputation, both as a barrister, as a legal academic, and as a judge. And uh, George and I are delighted, as is the government, to have been able to recommend his appointment to the Governor-General. So these are two critically important historic appointments as all High Court appointments are, to this court, which stands at the very apex of our judicial system. Thank you, Prime Minister. Can I join with the Prime Minister in congratulating Justice Susan Kiefel uh, upon her appointment as Chief Justice of Australia and Justice James Edelman on his appointment to the High Court of Australia? Can I also thank the retiring Chief Justice Robert French for a lifetime of service to the judiciary, to the legal profession and to the Australian people in so many roles. Uh, Justice French will be farewell from the court on, the, on next Monday. Um, the new Chief Justice uh, and the new Justice will be sworn in on the 30th of January next year. Um,
As the Prime Minister has said, in respect of both the new Chief Justice and the new member of the High Court, these are both outstanding Australians. They are both outstanding judges. Justice Kiefel's story is an inspiration. It is a great Australian story. But one thing that can be said about Justice Kiefel is that every step in her distinguished career is a step that, was that she took on merit, as acknowledged by her peers and colleagues and contemporaries. She will be a great leader of the court. Justice James Edelman has an extraordinary life story as well. He is one of Australia's greatest legal scholars with an international reputation, but has combined his role as a legal scholar with a busy practice at the bar and then a successful judicial career, both in Perth on the Supreme Court of Western Australia and on the federal court where he has sat at the Brisbane Registry of the Court for the last two years. So as a scholar, as a barrister and as a superior court judge, James Edelman has distinguished himself immensely. I can tell you that I undertook um, in deciding on the names to take to Cabinet a very, very exhaustive process of consultation. Of course, all the State Attorneys General, as required by the law, were consulted. All members of the High Court were consulted. The leaders of the other Australian, uh, 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 the leaders of the other Australian federal courts were consulted. The leaders of the Australian legal profession were consulted. Justice Kiefel emerged from that process of consultation as the overwhelmingly favoured candidate, as almost the consensus choice of the judiciary and of the profession. So in that sense, this appointment, significant though it is, will come as little surprise to the judiciary and the profession. The Justice Edelman's name featured very strongly in the consultations as well because his distinguished record as a jurist and as a scholar is widely acknowledged. Thank you. You know, and, uh, this, uh, given we are, we're surrounded here by journalists, George, this reminds me of uh, something Alan Reid, uh, one of the great journalists in this building, well, not in this building, in the old building, always used to say, Alan used to say, I'm always very polite to cadet reporters in the lift. And I said, why is that, Alan? He said, over the years I've found a lot of them end up being my editors. Well, perhaps there are a lot of lawyers that will remember that the paralegals or legal secretaries that they're working with perhaps may follow now in Susan Kiefel's footsteps. Study law, get admitted, and become the Chief Justice of Australia. Was there no one who profited themselves from that state? Judicial appointments are made uh, entirely on merit, and of course, the, there is a wealth, we have a wealth of talent in the legal profession. There are many, many, many more judges and lawyers that would be eminently suitable for appointment to the High Court than there are places on the High Court. So we have a uh, we have an abundance of talent in Australia, but there are only a limited number of options, opportunities at any time, and in this case there was one opportunity for one new judge.